Welcome back, I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic here with another review. And today we're gonna to take a look, or continue to take a look at uh, Diamond Selects 3D Legend bus figures. I am back, if you're watching this, uh, from New York Comic Con. This is actually an exclusive from San Diego Comic Con. So I'm a little bit behind on some of the reviews, but at each of the cons I got a chance to post a video booth tour of the bus that they're coming out with and in each con they've gotten a lot they've they've introduced even some more and like this past con uh in new york they introduced some star wars bus which were pretty awesome so check that video out but right here we have the uh gray x-force version of deadpool they have a regular version of this as well this was exclusive to the 2019 san diego comic con limited to 1,000 pieces, and this happens to be 88 of 1,000. So what we're gonna do is get this half-scale bus out of the box and uh, get started with the review here. Let's get started. We have him out of the box. This is Deadpool X-Force mask. Um, do a little bit once around so you can see what this guy looks like. Yeah. Now, as far as the sculptor's concern, uh, according to this certificate of authenticity, uh, it's sculpted by none other than Rocco Tartamalia. This is uh, one of the resident sculptures at Diamond Select, and I have reviewed a number of pieces by this guy, and I have pretty much loved every piece he's actually sculpted. Uh, he and uh, probably Gene St. Gene are my two favorite sculptors there at uh, Diamond Select, but this guy, I mean, every time that I see uh, a really cool piece come out of a box, I can almost expect to see his name on there. That's just how cool these things are. We've got a half scale version of Deadpool here, and he is sitting on top of what looks like to be the end of a missile of some kind, a rocket. Uh, one of the cool things about all the bases from their bust is that each of the base is reminiscent or complements the character in some way has some type of characteristic of the character built into the base and as you can see here with this rocket that he's on that makes a whole lot of sense he's got the two katanas on uh, on his back here and then as you look at just the overall sculpt of this guy i mean there's a lot of texture and detailing in the sculpting um you can see the costume here a little bit of uh, wrinkles and things like that in a costume that look really cool on the back side the same thing you can see some wrinkles and things like that in the costume i mean overall man look this is just done really really nicely even the paint job on here as i look over it i'm going to do some close-ups you know maybe i'll see some mistakes and things like that but when you look at this right here under this lighting this close-up i don't see any flaws or mistakes or anything like that you can see his ears and things like that sculpted underneath the costume uh some of the seams increasing some of the seams and crease of the costume here you can see um the stitching around his eyes that looks pretty nice the color of his eyes are really cool too and painted well the red isn't like extending outside of there onto the black and then you've got him squinting here on with his left eye that looks pretty cool and as you look at the katanas or the swords on the back of it the sculpting and then the details on those guys look really awesome as well um turning it around the back some wrinkling and texturing on the back of the costume pretty simple piece but yet um $150 well worth it I'm really excited about the bust that they are doing. There's a few that I do want to pick up. Um, I got this one. I got Venom. I want to get Black Panther, which I've gotten uh, on order. And um, Pennywise, I've also, from a collector zone, I ordered that one. And that one's on uh, pre-order as well. But I don't have a whole lot else to say about this bust other than, yes, definitely Deadpool fan, X-Force version of Deadpool. Big pickup, especially if you're a bus collector. When I was at the con, some of the things that I heard people, and even on comments, when I did the uh, booth tour of the bus, people uh, made comments like, you know, I don't collect bus, man, but I definitely pre-ordered this particular one or that particular one. And um, I think that's a testament to how well these things are coming out. So there you have it. Uh, remember again, to always collect what you like and not the hype. So until next time, my friends, peace.